Hi, I'm Jessica Wheeler with LA Hiker. Today we are at the Bayona Wetlands where Richard Beaven is gonna give us a tour through this beautiful natural habitat. And right now I'm sitting in the weeds, literally. I'm Jessica Wheeler, I live in LA and I love the outdoors. So I decided to get out of my car and get into nature. The Bayona Wetlands. This tiny piece of land nestled along LA's coastline remains one of the city's last pristine wetlands. Today I'm meeting with Richard Beaven, co-executive director of the Friends of the Bayona Wetlands, an organization that protects and restores this vital coastal ecosystem in LA. Would you mind um, telling us what we are standing in front of right now? <laughs> We're standing in front of the saltwater portion of the Bayona Wetlands. This is the saltwater marsh behind us. This little piece of territory, this 600 acres in Los Angeles, is part of a much larger chain of life called the Pacific Flyway. Migratory birds stop here on their way from Alaska to Guatemala. It's a feeding place, it's a rest stop, and so they come, they hang out here, and then they move on. But it's also habitat for, for native birds, native plants. It's also important because wetlands are the place where water, after it flows through an urban area, stops and hangs out for a while, and the biological processes, the plants here can literally uptake toxic metals and clean the water before it goes out into Santa Monica Bay. So here is a mini hand demo of the Bayona Creek watershed. Okay, where my fingertips are, this is the mountain range. So when it rains, or any water that's moving through this area is going to move to what part of my hands? Like right there. My, palm, my palms, right, and ultimately my wrists, right? Mm -hmm. So it's all coming down through here, and Bayona wetlands essentially is right here. So this is that hot spot of this 127 square mile watershed. So out here is the ocean. So everything that runs off of the city, anything from anybody's yards, gutters, streets, is gonna wind up down here. Walking through this amazing habitat, I quickly found out that these wetlands almost never were. This land was privately owned for a long time. It was owned by Howard Hughes. At the end of Howard Hughes' runway, he needed a crash zone. Then in 1978, when he died, his successors decided they were gonna build Rockefeller Center West, and it was gonna be this huge, incredibly large, dense community. Well, our founder, Ruth Lansford, and some friends of hers said, well, no, there's still viable wetlands out here. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. And in 1984, they sued Hughes' successors and the California Coastal Commission. They settled that lawsuit. And then in 2003, we got the Trust for Public Land and the state of California to buy an additional 240 acres. So this 600 acres total is now owned by the state of California. The wetlands are a part of a marine estuary system, making it a perfect place for native plants such as Bayona wallflower, southern tar plant, Lewis primrose, and dune lupins. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. It's, it smells so good. I want like my whole apartment to smell like this. So we have been replanting these natives since 1994. Oh wow. And we've done it all by hand and we've done it with the help of everybody from kindergarten age people to senior citizens. We bring 5,500 volunteers a year through here. So it is uh, supported by grants. Um, it has won awards from the state for the uh, sensitivity and care with which we've, uh, we've uh, created this uh, or, or recreated this habitat. It's amazing the kind of love and attention the people of Los Angeles have put into saving and restoring this land. It's a full-time job, and I have come away with a newfound respect for our environment. Uh, uh, Californians, this is your land. You should come here and enjoy it. It needs to be uh, fenced off, and it needs to be taken care of because it's an endangered habitat, frankly. We're, we're needing to restore this, but at least once a month, you should be able to come out here and just smell the dune lupin and enjoy it for yourselves. So we just finished our wonderful tour of the Bayona Wetlands. Thank you so much, Richard. Thank you. It has oh, been an absolute pleasure. pleasure. To learn more about the Bayona Wetlands or how to volunteer, go to bayonafriends.org.